So the difficulty in delivering reliable, scalable primary storage is really preventing cloud service providers from delivering on the full promise of cloud computing. Traditional enterprise storage is just a poor fit for cloud computing environments. The problems start with performance. Storage capacity and performance are out of balance, and that's continuing to get worse year after year. Capacity is cheap, but IOPS are expensive. When pushed with cloud computing workloads, the storage systems are unable to deliver consistent, reliable performance to large numbers of customers. So this performance challenge really results in severe underutilization of capacity. Service providers find that they can only use a fraction of the capacity that they've purchased in order to get enough performance to keep customers happy. Efficiency technologies like compression and deduplication either aren't available or just can't be used because they impact performance and deliver capacity that is never going to be used anyway. Inefficient storage utilization inevitably leads to a sprawling storage footprint, one that's increasingly difficult to control and impossible to fully automate. We're seeing amazing innovation in cloud technology across every area of computing. From virtualization to networking to databases, even server hardware, they're all being redesigned around the needs of large-scale cloud computing. So why is storage being left behind? Well, that's not the case anymore, thanks to SolidFire. SolidFire's amazingly efficient architecture allows you to have an all-solid-state storage system for about the price per gigabyte of spinning disk. Finally, capacity and performance are in balance. Come talk to us.